Well, we knew this was gonna happen. Nice and easy. Hey, welcome back to Sweetbriar Farm after a little paternity and maternity leave. We're uh, loading up Stedman, our Berkshire boar. So we got a guy coming to pick him up. We're gonna put him in the back of the trailer here, hopefully, and then do a trailer to trailer swap when he gets here. <laughs> All right, everybody. Say goodbye. Rest in peace. Out with the old, and with the not, not so old. old. There. We need the cow water broken too. Hey, Ivan, get some five gallon buckets. Come on! Look at it! Look at it, Sally! We knew this was going to happen. We knew exactly this was going to happen. These two would go in the trailer, and he wouldn't. That's what I said. As soon as he gets in, you close that door. So we got them loaded. Pigs did exactly what we thought we would, they would do. The sows would load and then the boar would hang back. And that's exactly what happened. 
job's done for now. And he's waiting on his new owners. All right, we're back. If you can see us, so bright funny. thing in the sky is out for once. All right, so Stedman is gone. Our Berkshire boar. We have fat Rambo left and a couple feeders and a couple sows. But we have decided to no longer farrow pigs. So after these girls farrow in the springtime, they will be sold. The one thing that keeps us here on the farm all the time is the pigs, since maintaining the sows and boars, you have to feed them twice a day or they get too fat. So we'll still raise pigs on and off, but we'll just buy feeders and and uh, go that route. Another another cut from the livestock list. Well, I think when we got started, we wanted to try everything. And uh, after we've tried it all, now we can kind of pick and choose what we actually want to invest our time on. And it would be nice to be able to leave the farm for a weekend. <laughs> the pigs are going to hit the road soon. For uh, going into year five running pigs, it was fun. <laughs> Yeah. And I think when we do it again in the future, maybe if we still have this channel in about 17 years when I retire, uh, <laughs> that'll be my gift to uh, boring us out. <laughs> yeah. Can't can't really leave the farm for very long periods of time with uh, with with the pigs. So so we decided to sell them. But other than that, we've been cleaning stuff up for spring kidding here. So the goats are due to have kids. What mid March? Mid March it'll start. Yes. So that's about, what, three weeks away. So the kids and Mike were awesome this morning and they got the barn all clean out and our bucks had spent the winter in our pole barn. So they're back out in their three season area. So now we got the pens all cleaned up and we can start getting ready to bring the girls in when they're getting closer. So I guess the plan will be to take this down and uh, probably plant sweet corn here this, this spring. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got clean sheets. What do you think, Tay? Come say hi. She's such a So now that we're sort of getting settled and back into a routine with the new baby, we're gonna try and get back into our um, habit of posting a new video each week. Uh, there's not a lot happening on the farm right now. We're just kind of cleaning up winter messes and getting ready for baby season. So we'll have goats in March, maybe pigs in late March or, or April, and then calving should start after that. Yeah, I don't know about you, but when we turn this camera on, the flush of future fame and fortune just came rushing through my blood again, and it really got me motivated to start making more videos. <laughs> well, all right, well, that's enough for this video. We will see you in the next one. Later, everyone. Should we sing the Star Spangled Banner? Oh, okay. Yay.